Hey guys, it's John and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Uh, we're here at the safe haven and I just saved. Um, our partner Alex Casey is out in the wilderness and this is probably the last time we're going to see him. Don't forget to save often. Okay, how often are you wanting me to save? Let's take a look at the map. Now I, I've, I've gone to the point of interest. I guess when you go to a point of interest it doesn't like clear the map of it, right? Yeah, because there wasn't one over here. I guess it just stays on the map, because I've already been to that point of interest. Oh well. Um, yeah, we'll head back to the murder site. And then the FBC station, and then the parking lot. I think that's... I think that's the goal. You know what? I probably should have looked at... Is it straight here? Okay, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Who knows? We might have a combat situation, though. Which is hot. Okay, yeah, but like, what's this way? Let's take a look. Gotta wait for the map to load in. Um, okay, we'll take, we'll go forward, we'll take a right, and then a left. Yo, is, uh, is everything okay? <laughs> what was that? Some sounds coming from the general store. We'll do a quick run through. I'm not sure, I'm not convinced that Anything will actually be here. Oh! Oh! Wait, do you hear stuff? Hang on, let's go in here. Okay. <sighs> okay, I got it. I got it, I got it. Did I get him? Do you see his heart was glowing just now? A monster. Like Whoa. Using a trauma pad will allow you to heal. Oh, but I mean, I'm I'm fine though. Right? Yeah, I didn't get hurt. Applying a trauma pad takes longer, but grants. Okay, well, do you want me to do it? I'll do it if you want me to do it. I've got I've got some of them. Um, sure. You want me? You want me to? Let me use it. Quick slot, maybe? Oh, okay. You guys need to see this. Sorry, it was in the way. Um, I'm thinking up for healing. Yeah. Maybe we put the batteries down. Cool. So like. Oh, okay. No, I was hurt. It's got this. Sorry, there's a. If you're wondering what that sound is, it's an Epic Games achievement. I thought I turned them off. Okay, you know what? Actually, I know how to do it. Well, actually... I know how to turn it off on my end, but not yours. That's kind of annoying. Maybe I turn off the overlay? Can I turn off the overlay? Sorry about all this, by the way. Welcome to John's Wolf, where there's no editing. Normally, it's okay, though. Like, if I know that I'm going to leave a part in a video, I'll just keep talking and hopefully providing entertainment. Let's see. Epic Web Helper. Is that what I get rid of? Okay, you know what? We'll just, we'll just hope and pray that we don't get that many um, achievements. How about that? Let's see. Shift F3 for the overlay. Can I turn it off? Oh, I can turn on Do Not Disturb. There we go. But it turns itself off. All right, whatever. We're good. Because I had it on for the last video. Oh, okay. I thought maybe we were supposed to burn through that. No? Manuscript page. Well, are we going to read it or what? She doesn't want to read it. Let's get another trauma pack. What's this? Oh, I just got five new, five new inventory slots. And do we have a new gun? Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. And then that gives us a code for the shotgun. Hell yeah. See, look, look at this. Oh, there's the heart. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. 
The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I feel like huh. I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. Oh. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Okay, I thought that there was like a cutscene story. Um, don't worry the about it. To the witch. Makes total sense. So, yeah, right. But we gotta go to Lady Fortuna. At the counter? We'll look. We'll look for it. Um, well, this is the counter. Lady Fortuna. No? Oh, oh. Oh, is that the name of the cash register? Don't forget! Update code! Oh, oh no. 705 713 They're all crossed out. Lotto, Washington. Okay. Oh, huh? Okay, so 05 13 17 23. Right, so the next one's 39. So 739 is the code. Done. You're talking to an expert right now. 739. Um. Wow, well, they didn't even change it from last time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give me that. Give me that shit right now. Yeah. Let's take that. I've got it. The sawed off. Is it a sawed off? You can quick slot weapons from the inventory. Well, hell yeah, we're going to do that. Let's see. Okay, so quick slot. Let's do a handgun left and uh, shotgun right. I like the this Resident Evil style inventory here. It's a nice, nice feature. Okay, she takes a moment to sling it over her shoulder. That makes sense, though. That's that's a good idea. Uh, now on the map, does it still say point of interest? It doesn't. That makes me think that there's something I'm missing over here. Because the point of it, because this had, the, the general store used to have two points of interest that are now gone. However, there's still a point of interest right there. That makes me think that I'm missing one. Casey, there are cultists in the area. Well, I gotta go back that They're way taken, anyway. Like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm yeah, still yep. finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America, I can get through drunk and blindfolded. Oh, wait. These damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm on route to Witch's Ladle. Which is hot. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. I like how but I like how she's exciting. just rolling with this. She's just like, yeah, I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. What? You don't do that? You don't? You don't perform rituals to open the overlap? Is is there something I'm supposed to do with this? So I've already, I've already done this. Is this the point of interest? I'll look real quick, cause like, I already got this. Oh, it got rid of the point of interest. That's so weird because I was here before and it was still there, whatever. All good. So the thermoses are save points now, I noticed. That's kind of funny. Uh, what's the quickest way to the witch's ladle? I think it's right here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm headed down. I got my shotgun, and I'm ready to go. Now, they're probably like, why don't you use your shotgun right away? But I'm not, that's not me. That ain't me. I'm not doing that. Heading straight to the, to the light. Okay. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you come over here? Huh? Oh, they can't see me here. Holy. So how am I supposed to stealth my way through this? There's two of these guys. Oh, 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 shit.
Oh, LB allows you to dodge enemy attacks. Nice. How about this? Oh! Oh, we got him good! good job, Saga. Now keep moving. You talk to yourself in the third person like that? Do these guys drop any ammo? Good job, Saga. Alright, well... You know what? Time to heal up a little bit. Okay, we're finally... We're getting to some, like, combat. Let's go. I almost said we're getting into some gameplay, but you know that the investigation was also gameplay. All right, let's see what this does. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart witch. Show me the terror. Enter the overlap through Wish's Ladle. Here we go, guys. Alright, so we're in. I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? No, you can't talk to him. Casey! Casey, do you read me? What do you think the overlap is? Saga. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Before we do that, let's check out our mind palace. Um, yeah, on the case board. Words on the heart are illegible now. Oh, oh, it's just filling it in for me. Okay, uh, well, thanks. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart which show me the terror. How is this possible? Did the page do this? Is what it says. There you go. Um, how did this get here from the morgue? Did Nightingale hide it here? That's a good question. Manuscript pages. We actually didn't read this one. Um. All right. Gonna get on my best Ellen Wake voice. Here we go. Saga edged towards the broken door, her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting. Planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night! Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, an axe in his raised hand. Wow, oh, so we got that one after we experienced it. Is there some? Why? Why is it? Keep, it keeps being like, have you watched these TV spots, bro? They're pretty good, actually. Um, and yeah, I have. I don't really want to watch them again. I'm good. They were entertaining one time. Logan. Mom, help. Logan. Oh, let's go. Let's go for it. Where are you? I'm sure she's here. What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. Right. What was with the things? What was with that coffee uh coffee store barista coffee store? Cafe barista, that's what they're called. Saying that Logan had drowned. Cause didn't we have a phone call earlier where we talked to them? Hmm. Does it say, oh, sure, oh, undiscovered map is actually where we are. 
Wait, didn't we come from that way? But then this goes back into the... Okay. Do we go this way? Or is this where we came from? Oh, I don't know. Here we go. I guess we're just going in. Because it's like, I thought we came into the witch's ladle. Or we came from... Both. Game saved. Would you please help me? What Alan was that? Wake. That was Alan. Wait. Did I get turned around? No, it's a loop. No, this is right. The, the this horror game, is modern horror game's favorite mechanic, looping. Like a nightmare. We got a page. Not gonna read it. You gonna make me? You gonna make me read it the, the old school way? Saga opens the cauldron lake overlap. I guess. Need to find Nightingale. Or, or is it Nightingale enters the lake? The writer went into the lake. Oh. Banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside. Into the lake. Nightingale was there. One of them. The dark presence. Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place. Wandering in the shadows. Muttering to themselves. It's dark. I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please, stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that. The writer was writing again. You know, you think for like a famous professional writer that Alan Wake would be like better at it? Just something I noticed, you know? Yeah, I'm throwing a little shade. I just think, I just think maybe you would think he'd be not terrible at it. Not absolutely awful. How can, how can anyone read a whole book of that? Come on, Alan. You know, it hurts you to just state something plainly. The writer was writing again. Oh, red means scary, y'all. Check it out. <clears throat> I've done it. Left or right? Left? He's here, Nightingale. Oh, okay. Oh, found a manuscript. Saga's just like, we'll just put that shit away. Nightingale in the dark place. Okay. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer who despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels from the dark city into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Right, that's what he said. Something, a presence rumbled. Mm. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there. But he was risen. Mm -hmm. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. That's a lake, but not the lake. This is what I mean, man. Just so far, a really confusing rider. 
Danger. Who is that? It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. It's Alan Wake. Come on, Saga. Get with the program. You know, more of these triangles, double triangles. Hmm. I don't know what that's all about. Oh. Nightingale's badge. Oh. Let's just take all this. Thank you. Oh, we're not going to examine his badge. Oh, we got shotgun shells. Yeah. Let's go. So you don't want to. Okay. No, that's fine. Wait, can I zoom in on it, actually? No. All right. We found his stuff. I mean, I'm guessing we're going to have to pump him full of lead. Anything behind the waterfall? No. Nope. That would have been cool if there was. Set to find the light switch. Show me the clicker. Are you up there? Show me the clicker. Is he looking for the remote? He just wants to change the channel, that's all. Are we okay here? Capitalize my name, bro. Okay. We're all good. We're all good. Hang on. Okay. Looks like we've done it. There we go. Got him with the with the shotgun again. Okay. Let's reload. Okay, we're doing okay so far on supplies. I'd like to think. All right, just thought I'd look around. Come on, Saga, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh my god, I just meleeed him. Okay. Nice, we got some extra... Got some extra ammo there. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo -hoo. Okay. Run out of battery packs, though. That's no good. Keep going. Coming way. Do we go left or right? Let's go right. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> we fight. Nice, nice, nice. We got him. Oh, okay. We dodged that. We take those. Whoa, why'd you do that? 
Oh! Use LB to dodge enemy attacks while on the ground. Okay. Okay, I'm not, uh... Where is he? Holy shit. Got him. Whew. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Are you okay? No, no! It's my fault! They got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... He's changed the story. The dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13. <laughs> Whoa. Instrumental intro. Wait. The song, I recognize it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good on that. Where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. A crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Damn. Cool. Alex Casey? Oh. How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No. No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. I'm glad that they finally. Um, it's a bit of a height to the car wake. I'm glad Get they finally bearings. clarified that because I was out. confused by that. I just, I, I need another. Man, minute. this looks like where I fought the orphan of Koss. Lake. I Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. Ew. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. It sure did. I wonder didn't if there's it? any connection to the overlap. They're having a nice little conversation yeah. over there. He's asking if, if uh, Casey has a flashlight. Can you go up here? Investigate the previously flooded area. So that's this this area. We can't go back up, so. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. I mean, is there a way to go okay. around? Take your time. He's, he's thinking right now, man. He's thinking. Um. Yeah. Okay. We'll just we'll just run around. Oh, poor dear. 
Poor little guy. Poor little guy. All right, this way. Well, another page. Speaking of which, let's take a look. Let's hear uh, Alan read us a story. The reality changing influence of the dark place flowed like water flowed, like fear flowed down the path of least resistance, eroding the weak spots until they cracked in places where reality was more yielding, where a story told and retold Imagination sparked and fear ignited again and again, had softened the walls of reality. Sites of violence and tragedy, where truth was laced with fiction, where a work of art proposed an alternative narrative, something people could suspect to be true, something people felt strongly about, something they feared. The stronger the connection between the belief and emotional response, the better, the darker, the better. Mm. A ghost of a witch ripping a man's heart from his chest. Two brothers murdering the neighbors and hiding their bodies in a well. A young woman haunting the flooded bunker where she drowned. Bedtime stories, folk tales, urban legends connected to a specific place. These were the sites where the overlaps came to be. Ah, I see. Okay, cool. Thanks for explaining that. So I was a little unclear how that was happening, to be honest. I get it, though. Um, what's a this? creepy twig sculpture? It's uh, the same shape. Look at the shape. Saga. Aren't you like a professional investigator? No, wait. Is this is this where I need to be going? Oh. Where are we right now? Oh, we're way over here. Okay, so so is this the previously flooded area? Where I just was? Okay. Overlap here. But I don't know how we get to that. I guess we have to... Do we go through the witch's ladle? I actually don't know. We should go this way though? Yeah, cause like there's... It there's, looks like there's something over here to investigate. This thing? A locked box. A locked box? Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? What was it just Simon says? Oh, it's literally, literally just Simon says. Looks like they're tools of the trade. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. Remember, they look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals, and it's our job to hunt them and gut them. Oh, I just got five new inventory slots. Wow. And I got a flare. Nice. Okay, so I just got a bunch of bunch of stuff out of this cult stash right here. Um, yeah, all right, we're good. Yeah, so one, one quick thing. So my inventory, like I started off with just two rows, but now I've got four. And it looks like there's six total. So I don't know, that's kind of crazy. Um, do we go this way? Or do we go this way? Did I come through here? I can't remember. Oh, I did come through here. Yeah. So, yeah, so we go up. Come on, Alan. Actually, let's go to my mind palace first. Because I've got a little case board. Progress. Let's see. Well, wait. Let's take a look at the cult stashes. Point of interest cases. Yeah. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, so we found a stash. And this would be uh, the Cauldron Lake area. Right. There's no insist inside encouraging cultists to dehumanize their victims. Right. Very disturbing. Now let's do the cult of the tree. I got a new cult symbol. It's this one. Yeah. What's the purpose? Marking territory? A warning? Feels derivative, like something out of a horror movie. It does kind of feel like a Blair Witch type of thing, doesn't it? Note reminding cultists that victims are like animals. I guess that goes into cult psychology. Yeah. Dehumanizing their victims. They are the predators. Their victims are just prey. Got it. All right, let's go.
here I am. Do I go this way? I think so. There's just gonna be some stuff that I miss, and that's okay. I'm not, not looking to 100% the game. I'm also not looking to get through it as quickly as possible, so somewhere in between. That's me. Did we just go through? Yeah, there's no overlap anymore. It just goes straight through. Pressing backwards twice. Okay. Wait, what's going on? Whoa. Okay, it ran that way. Okay. So what, you ate this deer? Okay, okay. Holy shoot. There you are. Okay. This wolf enemy, damn. Ow. No ammo. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh. Now's my chance. Oh. To shoot it? Okay. Even the animals are turning into monsters. That took quite a while. Quite a few shots. I guess maybe I didn't hit it enough with the uh, uh with the flashlight. Maybe I didn't weaken it enough. It was pretty strong though. Well, now I kind of feel like I need to go through the flooded area and get some more, um, like, uh, uh ammo, uh, little loot stashes and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because, whoopsie. Okay, there's, uh, there's some arrows leading that way. But then what's this way? Can I take a look? Oh, there's like a campsite over here. Right? Or is that not... I mean, I am going right. Oh, no, this is this is correct, but... Okay, so this all, this all was flooded earlier. Let, let's follow, actually, let's follow these arrows. What's it pointing at? Streamside stash key. Oh, we might be needing that in just a few. Let's go. Pick up some items. Okay, yeah, let's bring out the pistol, though. We gotta be careful for wolves. Okay, here's something right here. Today's catch. A yellow perch and a mid-sized pike. Almost caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. Saw an out-of-towner walking around the woods just before sunrise. Had binoculars or a telescope or something. Taking notes. Didn't notice me. Good. Don't need the attention. Today's catch. Just an old rubber boot. Some of the regular creepies roaming around again. Avoid them as usual. No one notices a quiet old fisherman. Not even the fish. Ooh. Where am I now? Oh, I'm off to the side. Okay, but then I can go over the, the bridge. This is fun. You know what I kind of miss about like AAA games is the amount of like optional or like non-linear stuff that you can get up to. Kind of cool. Because a lot of times with indie projects, you know, depending on the genre, of course, it's very linear. <laughs> Tends to be. Again, depending on the genre. If you're playing like a roguelike or something, that's one thing. There's but like, something written here. I guess story-driven games, they're very linear. Or a riddle. One bird Reminds for light. Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. 
Um. Okay. A little clothes pin doll. A crow doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Yeah, right? Anything uh, locked here by any chance? Like, that I could use a streamside key for, or no? It's a private cabin here. We should go to the Witchfinder station. All right, yeah, I'll come back. I'll come back for this. I think I would need, maybe, maybe I come back and place some stuff here. Okay, do we go up or well there's a there's a little box right here. Oh. That doesn't oh that doesn't go. Okay, so I guess I guess that's not what we want. Private cabin though is just up here. Oh. Can I get around to the side? You know, it almost seems like the light is hurting me. I can't help but notice. Oh, this is also locked. Wait, this doesn't... No, that doesn't open it. Yeah, let's go up here into the cabin. Thanks, bro. We got it. Um, guess Miriam and Matt. Thanks for the lovely hunting. Patty came down from NYC and loved every minute of the trip. Lori and Bob, these paths have seen better days. Kev, nice views you got here. Mr. Lockhart, may I suggest adding some nice rest stops along the way? Oh, Mr. Lockhart's a little bit tired. Do hike and enjoy the scenery, set up your tent, enjoy a nice meal, relax. Don't chop down trees, don't leave your trash behind, don't be loud and obnoxious, and don't start a forest fire. And remember, always have fun. Guys, always have fun, okay? That's not a collectible? You know, this private cabin's kind of a bust. Anyone else feeling that way? Right, what? What's a private cabin? I thought, oh wait, this is a generator. Do we like start it up? Maybe the light turns on? Oh. It's like a dead by daylight skill check. Have you ever noticed everything with this guy is about dead by daylight? What's that about? In one of my in one of my indie horror videos, I said something I mentioned Dead by Daylight like one time while I was like I was like getting chased by the monster and somebody got really Another mad and they were just like rhymes. This guy's always talking about Dead by Daylight, bro. And I was like, this is an hour and a half video, and I mentioned it one time. A mother crow sits in her nest, guarding her bebes, doing her best to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. But only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. Yeah, so see, we... Oh, crow doll. Oh. Okay, but I need, like, more items, right? So this is probably something we need to come back for. Yeah? Oh, we can, we can save here. Isn't that nice? I'm actually gonna choose to quick save here, yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna take a break and I'll be back um, with more Alan Wake, okay? So, uh, hope you're enjoying so far. I don't know, I'm not closing out the video. I'll see you in a second. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, fair warning, it's been a few days uh, since I last stepped into this shack that you saw a few minutes ago. Um, so I may have to reacquaint myself with the controls. Sorry about that. I assume I already read that. No on the wall? Did I read this? This thing on the floor? I assume I also read this. No, it's a manuscript page. Ooh. Okay, well, let's have, uh, let's have Alan read it to us. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth. The real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. 
Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. What if Alex Casey is one of the people in the cult of the tree? Ooh. Because I thought, I thought he was going to die earlier. But now he's hanging out with Alan on the beach. So I guess he's fine. Um... Yeah, no, what? How did I, how did I get in here? I don't want to do this. Get me out, thanks. Okay. Now, right, we we turn this up, uh, turn this on rather. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember how do you take out the um the map? How do you bring out the map? You hold it down. Okay. So here we are at the private cabin. Um, now there's a container there. There's also a container there by the stream side. Um, and we also need to go to the Witchfinder Station, which we haven't been to yet. So, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. We've also got, we've got a place there that we can, like, put stuff, but... I don't think I have what I need for that. Okay, so if I keep going straight... Or no, I go to the left, I go to stream side. Okay, here we go. I think we, this is the thing that we got the, uh, the key for, yeah? Streamside stash key. That's what it says right here. Look. Streamside stash key. But it doesn't... Key to the cult stash at the stream in Cauldron Lake. But that's where we are, right? We're at Streamside. So this doesn't go to that. Wait, why does it say screwdriver just there? Did you see that? On the map it said screwdriver. Oh, hopefully I wasn't covering it up. Uh, here, let's try it again. Look, it says screwdriver there. Why is I guess we go to the Witchfinder station. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Here we go. From Alaska to British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, and all the way down to California, the Pacific Northwest area spans over a diverse range. Here you will find 59 threatened or endangered species of plants and animals, including the mighty orca and wild gray wolves. The Pacific Northwest region's ecosystems are wonderfully diverse. They include mountain areas like the Cascades and Olympic Ranges, as well as the dense forests around them. In the west, there are several islands, and dry desert plateaus cover the east. Some of the common wildlife calling the Pacific Northwest their home are robins and seagulls, squirrels and otters, cougars and deer, coyotes and raccoons, salmon and blue herons. There's a lot of animals. We're going to go through every single one. The marshes and ponds of this area host an impressive variety of fauna, but majestic trees like the black cottonwood, big leaf maple, and Oregon ash thrive in the wetlands too. It is truly the nature lover's paradise. The big leaf maple. Wow, they thought about that, naming that for like two seconds before they were like, I know. It's got big leaves, right? It's a maple, right? Big leaf maple. I'm going on break. Oh yeah, you you did it all right. Oh, I don't want to go down there. Which finder station? Let's go inside. This is apparently there's a screwdriver here. Now we're good on this, right? Okay. Some here. I hear something. There's a rhyme over here. Oh, is there? So what does it say? The hero, brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved most. Can you figure out the riddle? <laughs> I bet you can't. You know what? You're probably right. I'm not sure how much of those riddles I'm going to be doing. Oh, you'll be thrilled to know that I turned off epic notifications. Which you have to do every single time you start up the game. You can't just like turn them off and be like, yeah, you remember that, right? It doesn't remember it. You have to tell it again. Um, 721, tip of the day. When nature calls on a hike, check the direction of the wind before answering. Hikers have broken off branches of some of the trees down by the lake to make an illegal fire. Tried to fix some of the damage, douse the area. May put up some more instructional signs. I also found some tracks I couldn't recognize. Pretty big. A wolverine? Or footprints that were smeared? 
Either way, they were wandering around in strange patterns. Might be a sick animal. We need to keep an eye out. Poem of the day. Imagine having a poem of the day. That's a blissful life. One that's very unlike mine. No, I'm, I'm happy. I have, I have blissful days too. Just not... Not poem of the day blissful days. The sun as she sleeps knows not the woes of men. Have you guys ever heard the term woe used outside of a poem? I think I have, but I think it's like a 90-10 ratio of poem to non-poem usage for the word woe. Who toss and turn and worry and fret and wish they had her blissful slumber. Observations. Picked up a bunch of trash left by tourists. Despite posted guidance, humans are the worst. Thought of the day. Every majestic pine was once just a wee acorn. <laughs> a lot of new growth in the area. Some of the saplings I planted earlier are really thriving. Must be all this rain. I don't mind it either. Great sounds to sleep to. It's amazing what a good night's rest and a warm cup of tea can do. Alright, so you just wrote this stuff and you were like, I think I'll just put it right on top of the dryer. That's where that shit goes. Did I hear something? Yo. Oh. Was this open before? So you're the witch finder, are you? <laughs> oh, hey. Thank you. I feel bad for these guys. Must we stroke the neck of every deer that we come across? Deer? Did he just say deer? That's clearly a caribou! I don't know. They're all dear to me. Oh, password. The password. Six letters. Hmm. What? Oh, is the moose in timeout? Poor moose. Okay, let's go. You know what? Let's search, let's search around for the code. I'm 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 ready. I'm down. John's taking this. He's making this six-hour game take sixteen. I just rushed through it. Oh, we found something. Okay. Oh, this is like, this is evidence. A clue. Research into the reality-altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area utilizing fiction and art as a source and then manifesting the results into existence. Very similar to Silent Hill when you think about it. I've always thought Alan Wake was very similar to Silent Hill. Because that's kind of what Silent Hill did, you know. It took, like, Alessa's drawings and was like, No, there's a giant moth. I thought that was kind of dumb, but, you know, Cauldron Lake is a bit more... They're a bit pickier with it. Silent Hill was just like, Whatever, a child's drawing? I'll make anything into a monster. Sure. Cauldron Lake was just like, You know what? Maybe we don't make everything into a monster. Maybe we just manifest, like, the cool stuff. The FBC's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes, here and after referred to as fiction, in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. The hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass, but that are not known to their later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these past events after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration. This is a very long sentence or by the fiction itself being the initiating force in its present timeline, using the creator as a conduit. I'm going to, have to re reread that in a second. In the experiment, we will create nursery rhyme text with a specific function, and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed via a careful testing process with the purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself in real life. A variety of combinations involving the dolls, symbols, and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data with the hope that a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the testing based on our results. Okay. Now, now I can't help but notice that at the top it says Federal Bureau of Control, a.k.a. the FBC, and um, we've gotten to the point in the recording now where I've seen the comments on parts one and two, and everybody's like, You're, you really need to play control. What are you doing? Were you thought you could play Alan Wake 2 after Alan Wake 1 without playing a game with a completely unrelated title in between them? <laughs> what? Yes, I did think that. 
Apparently I was wrong. People told me to play, people have been telling me to play Control and I do want to play it, but people have been like, oh, there's also some, there's some Alan Wake stuff in it. And I was like, well, that was unexpected, but okay. But now, now that Alan Wake 2 is out, people are like, you really, you should have played it first. And it's like, well, you guys totally undersold the importance of it. We need to work on this communication thing. Okay, let me, let me reread this. There are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass, but that are not known to their later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these past events after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration. Okay, I think I get that. It's like a chicken and the egg thing, right? Because the act of creation of the fiction becomes the catalyst for the past events after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration. Or by the fiction itself becoming the initiating force in its present timeline using the creator as a conduit. Okay, I think the important thing to know is that Cauldron Lake is turning fiction into reality, right? We're gonna be confused no matter what, I think. Speak for yourself, I know exactly what's going on. Hero doll. Okay, we got an item for those little little circles or whatever. I've been reading the wiki all morning. I'm an expert now. Witchfinder Station 2, Streamside 1, Cauldron Lake, Rental Cabins 1. Test sites in Cauldron Lake. Okay. So we can go to our mind palace and uh, figure that out. I guess. Um... Well, you know what? What the heck? Let's do that. Sure. Okay. Um, yeah, let's look at the cases. Nursery rhymes. Um. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. Right. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Oh my god. So I guess we put these all under Cauldron Lake, right? Hero doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Oh, okay, we put that under strange dolls. Oh my God. Is that foil lining? Someone put in a lot of effort. So. Thanks, Saga. Oh wait, okay. We put this, what made them what are these who made them? Okay. So the FPC is researching how fiction affects reality. Sounds familiar. Okay, I'm not really sure why, but here we go. Crow doll, right? So why it puts it way over here. Kind of reads more like an owl to me. I mean, okay. Yeah, fair point. Um, strange rhyme. Or oh, I guess this is here, right? No? Oh, this goes here. What is the setup? Why the tripod? Some kind of experiment. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I think we're going to be... Case closed. Oh! Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? I killed Nightingale. I had to. He was a monster. The flying around Cauldron Lake receded afterwards. Nothing about this makes rational sense. We found Alan Wake, a rider missing for 13 years at the shore of the lake. Hopefully you can shed some light on this. Right. Yeah, that sounds good. Now, interestingly, um, investigate the previously flooded area isn't checked yet. So I guess I haven't investigated hard enough. Oh, it says 2547 right there. I didn't see it because the flashlight's so bright. The flashlight was so bright it was like washing out the sticky note. Wow. Okay, so they've only got two messages in their inbox. Somebody's not very popular or has a great spam filter. Dr. Marmot and Dr. Marmot. Here is the promise update on the project's first experimentations. The test items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy dolls, pa uh, baby dolls. The icon 
iconographic iconographic nature, I guess is how you would say it, of the test items was hypothesized to be beneficial for these research purposes. Test results? Negative. I will continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary. <laughs> Dr. Eugene Campbell. Yeah, shut up! Don't email me back. Project Nursery Rhymes. I have received your favorable review of my project proposal. Thank you. I need not remind you that my academic, as well as recreational expertise in mythology, folklore, and writing will indeed lend the needed credibility to the project in both leading it and creating the testing material. Dr. Eugene Campbell. They said this like six months before? Bruh. Who who lived here? That's what I keep that's what I keep wondering, man. I keep wondering about that. Oh. Oh, you didn't see it. It's a wolf doll. Hey. Hey, me. Also, the wolf is what we need for the thing outside, I think. I was rereading it, and it said it only mentions the hero and the wolf. And we have both of those dolls. So I think we might be able to do it. The hero, brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate. What he found. The hero returned to find she lost the thing she loved most. So, left home on a boat? Wolf. Tree? Oh! Something what feels did? different. I should look around. What? What do you mean something feels different? Oh. What is this? Tracks, bro. What do we do? We just like unleash something? <gasps> oh. Okay then. Okay, I was I was like I knew we had to do something here. Oh. I guess we're going upstairs. Uh. No. A charm. Cute. Charms have various benefits. The bracelet Logan made for me. Right. I tried to, huh. I used the flashlight there because I thought That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. I thought we had to use the flashlight on it because it was like blurry, but I guess sometimes that just happens. Uh Okay, so where is it? Coffee mug charm. <laughs> Saves you from death but showers in the process. Well Yeah, let's equip it, I guess. Yeah. Alright. So, we did that. You know what? I can probably do the rest of the puzzles then. Here, let me... It didn't put it back in my inventory, did it? I'm gonna have to... Yeah, no, they're right here. We can reuse them, though. Okay, we can. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back to those other puzzles. <coughs> Got to go back to those other puzzles and, uh, and reuse them. But, um... So where are we right now? We're like behind the Witchfinder Station, but I haven't- I haven't been over here, have I? Oh, We've one of those dream catchers. Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. No, I'm not. I'll meet you at the parking lot. I'm still going! I'm still going- what do you mean investigate? Oh. There's another lunchbox. Ooh, and now it's Casey Lunchbox. Obviously you're gonna succeed, or else you wouldn't be the hero. Duh! We got nine main- we got nine manuscript fragments! We got nine manuscript fragments! I had like three before this. What? Crazy, dude. Okay, thanks. Uh, and then, do I just- I guess just hop down here? I'm still perturbed about the stream side box. It says screw- oh, it says screwdriver right there. I don't know. Are there screwdrivers? Do I need a screwdriver? Do I have a screwdriver? Okay. Yeah, let's go back. There's a- there's one of those, um... Poem puzzles over here. If I remember correctly. Maybe I'll be able to solve it. I have three of the dolls now. Can we turn this off? Are we okay? Alright. 
A mother crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. It's the wolf. But only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. So the hero's in between them. The mother crow sits in her nest. That would be this. Beast coming to feast. Okay, so if the, if the crow's right here... And the hero's in between them... Oh, hell yeah. I have a weird feeling something's changed. Oh, me too, bro. I got a weird feeling too. Um... Is it, is it like this way? Something changed. But where? You know, that's really non-specific. I have a feeling something changed. Was well, that rotten apple core? These people don't clean up after themselves. Is it out here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, there's... Look, there's something right here, right? Am I following it? Oh, jeez. Okay. Ah, uh, can't forget the dolls. Might need them again. No, I know. Is it over here? Another charm for my bracelet. Fuck, dude. Okay. We got him in one shot. We got him in one shot. He was stalking us. Damn. Okay. Let's check this out. Um, Kalevala Knight's Charm increases hand flares duration area of effect. Well, I'm not... I've only got one of those, but sure, I'll use it. I'll get, I, don't, I don't care. I don't, look like I care. Look like I care. I don't care. Um... Okay, now let's go back up and get those. This is kind of fun. This is all optional. Dude, I guarantee there were so many people that were just like... They like... Rescued Alan Wake and then they're just like, I got to go straight for the car! That's so sad. Okay, there was another one though, wasn't there? There was at least a third one. I'm trying to remember where it was. Um... Oh, here it is. Can I like... No, I can't like... Uh, make a waypoint, can I? But it's behind me, though. Okay. I guess it's... Is it this way? I'm gonna make sure I... Yeah. If we keep going straight... I, I really want to know where to use this... Fine, I'll heal! Holy shit! Yeah. You happy? The stash key... Kind of annoying me. I guess I could have probably just swapped to a weapon or something and it would have stopped. Oh well. Okay, yeah, here we go. This is it. Okay, so what's this one? One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. Now this one, I'm not sure I get. One bird for light. So... Yes. Oh, that's it? That's it? That's all I had to do? One bird for light? Well, what's the rest of it? Bro, the, re the rest of it is like... Two for this, three for that, four for that. Okay. Another charm. Oh, Good really? Thing Logan made me this bracelet. Attack stagger enemies more often. Well, we're gonna take that over the knight's charm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. I really need to figure out where this streamside key goes. Cause I, everything else, I'm, I'm like done. The container here, we can't get into. We can't get in that container, so. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just keep going this way. I don't know. Kind of frustrating. I'm sure I'm maybe I'm missing something. 
I don't know. Uh, I know I'm probably annoying you checking my map every two seconds, but let's see. There's a witch sign there. May we go? Oh, wait, we haven't been over here. Oh, no, we haven't been over here. I, have, I need to go over here. This one part I still haven't explored. She said she was done. Alex Casey was like, we're at the car. And she was like, yeah, I'm all done. So I assumed I explored everything. I guess not. Come on. Ow. Ow. See, like, this thing is not dying. Wow, it is not dying. Wow, that took forever. I mean, I wasn't going to just keep dodging it. I guess these things keep spawning in, huh? I guess I guess I could have come over to the light, but eventually they're like that doesn't work anymore. Okay, I'm gonna keep going straight here, because maybe there's a container over here that the streamside key opens. I don't think I missed any nursery rhymes. I think I got all of them. What's this? Oh, this is water. Right. Yeah. Okay. Does this? Oh, what's this? The oh, there's something. Leaving supplies around for themselves. Rock, Wonder rock, what's tree. Inside. Are you bright enough? I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Rock, rock, tree. Plus three. Wait, three plus three. Six plus two. So six and eight? Right. Is there another rock? Maybe maybe this way? There's a six and an eight. And then we gotta find another thing on a rock somewhere. Is it down here maybe? Hey yo! Oh, here it is. Rock, rock, tree. So is that seven minus two? So five. So five, six, eight? Or six, five, eight? One of the two. Oh, fuck off! Can I do it? We got it. Nice. Ow! Are you one of us or one of them? Can you get the- can you get the- can you get this? No, dude. Oh, that's so annoying. Wait, did my charm save me? You know what? Check this out. Damn, I just, I just don't have enough ammo for these guys. Okay. Yeesh. Quick save. Okay. We use the thermos. I mean, maybe I should use my flashlight more in combat? I don't know. Or maybe, like... I remember the flare being pretty good. Propane tank, throwable gas canister, detonates when shot, inflicting heavy damage. Ooh, let's quick slot that. Um, put that down there. Hand flare. Okay, let's quick slot. Er, let's quick slot that too. Ah, uh, 
maybe up up it's so like all right like maybe i can get this guy with the flare if he's still out there this guy you think you think they're here This goes up right here. Oh, they're over there. Maybe we can just avoid them. I don't need to kill every single enemy I see. And where is this going? Oh, this goes back. No stream side key still? Wow, wow. All right. There's a box over here. Stream side key box. Yeah, yeah, this has got to be it, right? No, it's just open. Ow. It's just open. We're running out of room where there could be a streamside box. Let's go this way. What are these? There's like eggs. Colored eggs. Oh, there's some colored eggs over here too. Another I... one of those lunch boxes. Oh, hell yeah! I looked down at the rippling water. The moonlight danced over each and every little wave. A marching band of shimmering light. Lonely and cold, I hugged myself and sighed. I thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed, and like a spectral surprise, he was there. His face smiling at me reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to believe it was true, but it was true. He was there, my love, my savior, my rider. Nine manuscript fragments again. They give us so many. Finally, they put a treasure by the waterfall. You know, there was that waterfall earlier that didn't have anything by it. And I'm not saying that I'm still pissed about there not being anything there, but I'm still pissed about there not being anything there. So, you know. So I throw it out there. Which is hot. Okay, so I gotta check where I am. I wish there were more like landmarks and stuff for you to figure this shit out. Uh see so the general store is right here. The murder site's here. Um, did I ever go to this thing? Huh. It's this way, I think. I that's a building there, and I don't think I ever went to it. You know, a mini-map wouldn't kill you, guys. And any guys probably... Probably don't want to... Do a mini map, but you know, let me tell you, they're pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't think I ever went over here. Yeah, this. What's this? Oh, look! Another clue with the triangles. Oh, oh. Another locked box. Confused? Follow the steps. Wash hands. Take chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. Uh. <laughs> What's the matter? Confused? Okay, wash hands. So what? Wash hands. Hmm, take chicken out of the fridge. Oh, wash hands here? Oh, but other than this. Oh, is it some type of like symbol? Oh, it's like some type of symbol pattern. Yep. Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano, or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. Get it? But what if that's not true? What if it's something else? Something less natural, much more man-made. Intentional. I say the lake's not formed. It's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery, ready to be activated at the push of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing. I know it. First drawing. Water line. Real caldera is made from a volcano. Lava. Second drawing. 
water line, engineered structure. Strange machines? Oh, oh, I see. That didn't really... There's actual drawings there. Let's see if we can zoom in. So you think there's strange machines at the bottom of the lake? Huh. I mean, anything goes, right? Now one of my... Oh, make sure to pet the deer. You are a handsome deer. There's probably an achievement for petting all the deer, deer heads. There's 57 deer heads in the game. I went 57 out of 57. Wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. So, I'm guessing you wash your hands here, right? And that's that bow tie thing. And then you take the chicken out of the fridge, which is the hourglass. So you got bow tie hourglass, take a nap. Um, remote control. So bow tie hourglass remote control. Let's go. Do you just say control? Bow tie hourglass. That not it? I hear somebody muttering. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Uh oh. Uh, you know what? Flare might be good here. Oh yeah, there's somebody over there. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. We're being scary, y'all. Holy shit. Uh, can I get him? Nice. Okay. Nice. Oh, he actually dropped something. Check it out. He dropped something. Yeah. Oh, no. No shotgun. I actually profited ammo from that. That's what they sound like, dude. <laughs> okay, the only thing that annoys me about this, the only reason I don't want to leave yet is because I've got this stupid stream site key. But it doesn't open either of the boxes on the map. So what is what does it open? The stream side is this. Right? And I've I've been everywhere along it. So where's the stupid box? Oh. Well, don't mind if I do. Okay, wait, did I not get this? Is it a manuscript? Oh, how'd I miss this? No. Take it away, Alan. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see the opposite of sunspots in her eyes blacker than black suddenly a change the light reacted to the substance a feedback loop surging up her arm saga squeezed the flashlight willing it to penetrate the dark matter burn it away you know interestingly both saga and alex are uh names of characters that alan wake has written about so i guess their fiction turned reality by the lake are Saga and Alex both products of Cauldron Lake? Hmm. Something to think about, I guess. I'm just kind of, I've kind of resigned myself to not really understanding the story. What happened there? What? Um, wait, what is this? Cauldron Lake. Okay, so this, there, there was the page of a story inside, but this is definitely not like the other pages I've been finding. Fan fiction? Right. And here we go. A motivational note was inside. Is someone looking out for me? Okay, let's look at the... Oh, yeah, the nursery rhymes, because I did those. Oh, wow. Look at all this. 
All right, I'm about counting crows. Each number of crows has a different meaning. Yeah, okay. But only one of them mattered. And the rhyme, the mother crow tried to protect its nest, but ultimately failed. No. Oh. Reenacting the rhyme made the environment change. Uh, that goes under, what are these who made them, I think. Completing the puzzle made the world change. What is going on here? Hmm. A charm appeared at the site of a rhyme. Where did it come from? I wonder if there are others. A dark substance appeared when the rhyme was completed. It looks like a trail. Does it want me to follow? Rhyme found outside the Cauldron Lake Ranger Cabin that's up here. The hero of the rhyme left her child unprotected. This doll goes here. It has a pretty good paint job. Nice detail. Um, an email from the author of the rhymes, Dr. Eugene Campbell. <clears throat> Holy shit, look at all those dolls that we can get. What's nice is that you can you can kind of see if you try to put it in the wrong spot, you can see how many of them there are. There's only two other Cauldron Lake rhymes. Hmm. There's five Bright Falls rhymes. Okay, and then this goes here. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. The FBC and that always goes well created the rhymes. Research to see if nursery rhymes have power to affect future. Weird. Right, because they're fiction. Huh. Is that where... Is that where the wolf... The, the wolves come from? Are they fiction turned reality? Oh, they came from the nursery rhymes. Okay. Stash found near a Cauldron Lake mobile home. <laughs> that goes here. Locked box of cult supplies. And this one goes here too. Apparently I've missed something. Is the note inside to scare people off? Do they expect people to break into these? I guess so. I don't know. There's another cult stash. Oh my god, is this it? Oh my god, it is. This is it! The cult is watching right now. I'm not entirely convinced that the cults cultists are the bad guys. Necessarily, not, like not straight up, they're not just like evil. I think they're trying to, they have like a goal that we don't understand yet. Look at all the shotgun shells I got, yes! Yes! Okay, let's go back to the mine palace and possibly finish this up. Wait, how many are in the Bright Falls area? Okay, like nine. The cult stash has an ominous creepy warning note inside. It sure does. Okay, well now, now I've done everything I want to do. Now I'll go, you know what? Now I'll go. I'll go back. Um, or lose my sense of direction and go nowhere at all. Okay, now now you know what? We can go head out to meet up with uh, Alex and Alan now. It was Fuck. Here we go. It was we don't have to kill those guys. Keep going. Are they still after us? I'd be shocked if they were still following us. They surely they they must have been to the wind by now. They must have been the wind. I don't, I don't have any other explanation for it. Okay, and we've got a gate moving through here, so yeah, and then we go to the parking lot. Cool. All right, we've done it. Well, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to like, oh, I'm not trying to like uh, toot my horn too much, but I bet you some people like got Alan and they were like, right, back to the car. And they missed all that stuff. Oh wait, what's happening? Remember those guys that were working on the, what was it, the relay station up here? What happened to them? Sounds like there's an alarm going off. But what about that guy that makes the videos? Oh. It's open. Maintenance note. Clear signs of tampering. 
Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I've fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Leave this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. If you're reading this, check for tampering. You may want to put more secure metal casing on the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore. Stephen Lynn, chief technician. How do you turn this off? Hmm. Is there a way to turn it off, or...? Yeah, I've already gotten that thing. I don't know, I guess it's just going off? Can't get the, uh... I don't think I can get the ladder to come down. Am I wrong? Is there nothing to do here? Oh well, you know what? I'm... I'm satisfied to move on. I know I probably missed something. That's okay. It's a blind playthrough. If we want to get 100%, we can come back later some other time. So who do we think is in Cult of the Tree? I think maybe Tweedledee and Tweedledum. The Deputy and Sheriff. Because they're just, they're acting a little too stupid for me. I don't believe that they're, um, wait, where does this go? We haven't been to the rental cabins, have we? I don't know. I'm not sure if we can go there yet. Frankly. They're just like, magic's not real. There's... Remember when they were saying that? It feels like forever ago. All right, wait a second. Magic's not real. Where's Alan, dude? You ready to oh, go? He's, in the, he's in the back. Is he under arrest? Yeah, honestly, I'm ready. Sure. Let's go back to Bright Falls. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom, before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped, that's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hon. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, uh, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Right. <laughs> oh, we're in my mind palace. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Hey. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. 
He said that earlier. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Let's watch this and then we'll end the video. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Oh, wait. Maybe not? Maybe that's how we progress? Okay, I thought it was something that we watched just like earlier um, with the thing in the hotel. Okay. Um, yeah, well, we'll go ahead and get into, I guess, Alan's section here on uh, the next video um I felt a strange pull toward the tv alan just calm down hold your horses all right he's so impatient all right i'll see you guys in uh the next video thanks for watching the series okay think quickly